The Toyota Corolla isn't the newest or most exciting car in its class, but it sure is popular. Through April, Toyota sold more than 100,000 Corollas in the US for context, that's more units than total Mazda sold in all of 2017. So even though the current Corolla dates back to the 2014 model year, sales haven't exactly suffered. The Corolla is a commodity car, and, much as we hate to admit it, there's a strong percentage of Americans who just want A to B transport. If you are one of those folks, scroll down 9 paragraphs to learn about the Corolla's features and accoutrements. But if driving matters to you, keep reading straight on. Although the 2018 Corolla XSE we recently tested benefits from several updates added since its 2014 redesign, the segment as a whole has changed drastically. Among other things, the popularity of crossovers has eaten into compact car sales, advanced technology and safety features have gone mainstream, and turbocharged engines are no longer reserved for performance models. Back in 2014, when the Honda Civic had a 1.8-liter i4 that made 143 horsepower and 129 pounds to foot of torque, the 1.8-liter Corolla's 132 horsepower and 128 pounds to foot was considered relatively competitive. And if the modern Civic still needed 9.0 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, it wouldn't be as big a deal for the Corolla to make the same run in 9.9 .9 seconds. Unfortunately for Toyota, Corolla XSE money buys a comparable Civic trim with a 1.5-liter turbo, not just the base Honda 2.0-liter engine, which still outpaces the Toyota. With 174 horsepower and 162 pounds to foot of torque, the turbocharged Civic we tested hit 60 miles per hour in 6.8 seconds. In the quarter mile, it's the same story. The 2014 edition Civic did it in 16.9 seconds at 84.9 miles per hour, ahead of the 2018 Corolla's 17.5 second run at 80.9 miles per hour. The modern Turbo Civic, however, laid down a 15.3 second quarter mile at 93.0 miles per hour that means the Corolla is no longer just the slower of the two, and slower than even the base 2.0 liter Civic. It's straight up slow, and that means a lot on a freeway on ramp. Behind the wheel, the Corolla feels even less agile than its unimpressive test results might suggest. There's simply nothing about the Corolla XSE that encourages enthusiastic driving. Even the aging Ford Focus is more fun. Now, back to the commodity car items, for those of you who buy a Corolla because it's affordable, reliable, spacious, and fuel efficient. The top of the line Corolla XSE costs $23,675, and with the upgraded infotainment system, our tester came out to $24,200. For that price, you get heated synthetic leather seats, a moonroof, keyless entry, and several active safety features such as adaptive cruise control and automatic emergency braking. In fact, those safety features come standard, so even the $19,495 Corolla L has adaptive cruise control. The adaptive cruise control system doesn't work below 25 miles per hour, though. So if you spend much time in traffic, pick one of the Corolla's competitors instead. And although there is a lane keep assist function, its usefulness is limited. Toyota also doesn't offer the Corolla with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, even on high-end models. For younger buyers, that alone might be a deal breaker. Also, the Corolla's gas mileage no longer stands out in its class, the Civics is far better. In the next year or so, Expect Toyota to introduce a completely redesigned model that addresses most of the current car's shortcomings. We've already driven the 2019 Corolla hatchback, which rides on a new platform, gets a more powerful engine, offers more technology, and even includes Apple CarPlay. Based on our initial impressions, the upcoming sedan version should be much more competitive. Until the next-gen Corolla gets here consumers will be much better off buying a different car. Not because the Corolla is bad. Sure, it's affordable, and dealers are pricing it to move. But the segment has evolved considerably, 
and the Corolla sedan needs a full redesign to catch up. If you really want a compact Toyota, either wait for the new model, or consider the Corolla hatch. Thanks for watching.